As a church, we have elders and deacons. Uh, I'm going to invite them. Every year we do a confirmation. Uh, so I'm going to invite all our deacons and elders to come up. So I'm going to invite all our deacons and elders to come up. So I'm going to invite all our deacons and elders to come up. So I'm going to invite all our We are so blessed this year. Because God has given us new deacons and new elders. We have continuity with the ones who have experience. But we also have people who are serving for the first time in their positions. We have four elders. Okay. <laughs> this is for a picture. <laughs> so I guess uh, Bob divided. Our elders are this side. <laughs> We have uh, Ruby, who is the English representative of the elders. Ruby is we have Andrew and Howard, who are veterans of our church for the Cantonese elders. Andrew and uh, Howard are the old elders. And Tim Lee, our new elder for Mandarin. And Tim is the new elder for Mandarin. And for our deacons, we have Paul, who is returning elder for Mandarin. Paul is the new elder for Mandarin. We have Jerry, who is the new deacon for Mandarin. Jerry is the new elder for Mandarin. We have Kent, who is the new elder for Mandarin. I guess a returning elder, a senior, one of our senior deacons <laughs> for the Cantonese. And Nelson also uh, for our Cantonese. And after one year of sabbatical, we're so happy for Harry to be back for the Cantonese. And we have Thomas, who's a new deacon for the English. Thomas is a new and we have Will Friend, who is uh, the chair of the Deacon Board. And Will Friend is the chair of the Deacon Board. So I want, us, I want to read this Bible verse, and I want all of our... Whoa, can you see that? It's very small. <laughs> Face this way so you can see it. And all of you just follow along as I read. This is written for the elders, but then this year I told the elders and the deacons that this is a spiritual office for both of them. So this is for the elders, but I told the elders and the deacons that this is a spiritual office for both of them. So this is for the elders, but I told the elders and the deacons that this is a spiritual office for both of them. I appeal as a fellow elder and a witness of Christ's suffering, who also will share in the glory to be revealed. Be shepherds of God's flock, that is under your care. Watching over them, not because you must, but because you are willing, as God wants you to be, not pursuing dishonest gain, but eager to serve. Not lording it over and those entrusted to you, but being examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd appears, you will receive the crown of glory that will never fade away. Again, let's all stretch out our hands and let us bless these, your elders and your deacons. Our Father, we thank you for this group of men and women who step forward to say that we will serve. Lord, many times they serve without honor, without thanks. And yet they continue to be faithful. And Father, we thank you for this group of men and women that you have given to us. And now, Lord, give them the wisdom in how to handle the affairs of the church. Protect each of their families. 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 Protect each
and protect their work. We thank you so much for your grace upon this church. And we look forward to the service of these men and women that you've picked. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The absent from us today is Carolyn, who is also our Cantonese deacon, and she's been serving in a missions trip. So, Okay, thank you very much.